Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. It's going to be me and Shadow versus the first round. Uh, if you guys have any rivalries or anything you want to fight next, uh, get it worked out so we don't be delayed. All right, as soon as this fireball is mean, gone. Yogi and I are a rivalry. But all right, okay. Maybe this time. <laughs> One side. Uh, Nigel, are you still running the bug skin? No, no, I'm on. Oh, wait a second. Oh, Whoa, baby. Light versus Heck and Soul. When the fireball leaves, that's when it's time to start the show. Good luck. Heck and Soul versus Ain Light, you guys. This is Ain Light on the left. Heck and Soul over there. All right, and the fight starts with the Chrono Mancer. My man hits the Chrono. As soon as the fight starts, going to be able to rewind right back to where he started from and erase any of that damage. And that's going to be the second one back to back as he does push on in and try to be super aggressive. And it looks like it's going to pay off for him so far as he is able to just rewind every single bit of the damage that he's taken. Conduit coming in strong. And that's the fourth charge there. What is happening? Did he drink a knowledge potion? What's going on? Wait a sec. What's <laughs> happening here? Oh my God. Is, Did you so drink heavy. a knowledge pot, dude? <laughs> All right, Stony Baker versus Emily K. And when that fireball is gone, that's when it's time to get it on. Frostland's coming in big time as the spring step does close the gap and dodge that incoming damage. But it looks like it will be a uh, Stony Baker that hangs in the air for a little bit too long, but does not get really punished for it. Instead, is able to put us on that damage and put a lot of damage onto our Frostborn here. Fireball coming from up above. And it looks like Emily K will go ahead and shift focus on over for just a second, but now taking a little bit more damage from that fireball, from that conflagration. Goes up in the air to throw out a nice uh, flash freeze and uh, uh, frost lance, but can't now make it happen yet. But does have a nice little high to ground advantage now. We see the power mancer moving on in using that spring step and a beautiful spring step at the last second from Emity K to dodge the fireball and throw down the winning frost lance. Emity K is insane, dude. And the fight has begun. Starts off with a little bit of a preeminent uh, um, flash freeze to keep himself safe and follow up by a flat. Uh, Frostlands, but cannot make it happen. Instead, some big fire and some DF explosions close by. It looks like Coach PK's been able to stay pretty safe so far. Frostlands coming after uh, Frostlands, and it looks like our Fate Weaver will be very, very uh, in, in trouble here as Bare Hands closes the gap and wants to do some big damage and almost takes Coach out, but will fall to the hands of a Noxious Flame and a little bit of a Fireball to the Dome. Very, very interesting. Did push in there at the last second to be aggressive, but did not end up taking the victory. Nice. <laughs> All right, nice, nice. All right, main magi versus who's the protege? Uh, Scott. All right. Fight starts right away as they do not wait for the fireball to be gone whatsoever, but it looks like they're both in on it, so it's all good. Close the gap very instantly as the flash freeze does slow down Mean Magi a little bit, but will not be enough as Scott manages to take that toxic slap and that fireball to the face of the opponent and win that victory very quickly. Nice. That was a quick one, dude. All right, rival match, you guys. Onyx Sonata versus... Um, Oh, ow! What? Ouch! Okay, Yogi versus Onyx. Uh, Onyx takes a really good position here as she does close the, I mean, uh, get that ele elevation by jumping on top of the bridge. Now closing the gap quite a bit as she does see that opportunity to do so. Shadow Step doing that great job of getting her right in front of that opponent and throwing down some big damage. Toxic Cloud followed up by some Toxic Slap as it looks like Yogi will be in big, big trouble. Throws down that firewall to give himself a little bit of a blind and a little bit of some cover. And, and Onyx Sonata actually takes a second to try to heal up. Very surprised to see that as I do think Onyx Sonata has taken the advantage in this engagement so far, but it looks like she's going to go ahead and play it safe and get that uh, armor back up does eat a big meatball for her trouble and now the gla gap is being closed by that dash rune yogi does take more damage from the toxic slap and now that shadow step being great to keep onyx not a very very um stealthy and closes the gap yet again as yogi does fall to the hands of onyx sonata god i was so scared of stone trooper nice job let's go <laughs> crashy Fuck. versus burna when the fireball's gone it's time to get it on good luck y'all somebody have a good dash rune all right, here we go. Burner versus Crashy. Crashy winning that round one. Can he come through and take the second dub? Can he get that flawless victory and maintain his record? It only time will tell. Beautiful lightning coming in as it looks like this player will crouch behind this structure and use the landmass as much as he can to stay safe and sound. But Windspam coming in as well as now the gap has been closed and Crashy takes some big fireball damage. Dash using that using that dash beautifully. And it looks like Crashy jumps away to find himself in the middle of his own lightning sorcery. He does take a little bit of damage but does have that high ground elevation now. A lot more pressure coming in from the lightning bolt and it looks like 
that burner will be able to drop down behind this little wall here and have a little bit of line of sight cover. Some fireballs coming in. And it looks like Crash is going to be relying a little bit on that big fireball, or at least a big fireball uh, attack area. And now closes the gap beautifully as Crashy manages to connect another fireball, follow up with some lightning bolts. And Berna is on the ropes right now, ladies and gentlemen, trying to rely on that shockwave. And now some crazy figure eight dashing. Beautiful firewall at the last second. And Crashy gets engulfed by the flames. It looks like Crashy managed to turn that fight around beautifully. And I really, really thought that he had control. I thought that was Crashy's game to win. And he really was about to take it home. But that instant cast from the firewall was a little bit too much. And that was going to be the end of Crashy there. Wow, wow, wow. Berna makes it happen.